Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and I wanted to demonstrate this script I wrote. I, I had a great way to do this, uh, but it, it, it I didn't wasn't completely happy with it. So here's the overall goal. Let me let me open the folder here to show the files. So we're gonna open folder, and here are these CSV files, right? They all have a similar structure in that the very first row is the header row. Right of this is the date this thing will expire, and then the name of the business, all this information, and then we go to the next one, and it's a very similar format, right? But the the bummer part is when I merge these together, you'll see I'll have multiple every twenty fifth or twenty sixth one. It'll have the header row again, um, which isn't the end of the world because I can open that in Excel and then maybe just sort by that or. Um, yeah, I would freeze the top row and then sort by it, and then all of these with obsolescence will all be grouped together and just delete them. So it, it takes me an extra, what, 30 seconds. Uh, but you know me, I, I like to automate things. So, um, but first, I still want to demonstrate just so you get an idea, because if you, this is a super easy to do. Now, um, what you need to do is open a DOS command prompt in this directory. I happen to have a hotkey for that, of course. Control Shift P, for me, I've written the script that will need any time in Explorer, and I hit Control Shift P, it'll create a DOS prompt in that directory and um, I'll try to put that somewhere in the link because I don't think I have that shared anywhere but um, here's the whole code for this right so we're gonna say copy and here's the pattern what, what do we want to copy want to copy all files that are ended in a CSV right so if you had other files you didn't want in there you don't with that end in a CSV move them um, so star is a wildcard dot CSV so that's gonna grab every CSV file in this folder and then we're gonna give it a name let's just call it um, all of, oops, I don't remember if I can have spaces in here or not, not CSV, and that's it. Now I'm gonna run this, and let's see if we can count. What, all right, I didn't get to one. <laughs> um, and it just merged all of them, created the file, right? So, but notice here, see how obsolescence, 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 right? It's, it's at equal intervals, because there's the same number of um, data points in each file. And so, again, that's not too hard to take care of, but it annoyed me because this I do this a fair amount of time, right? It comes up a lot. So let me get rid of this because I don't want to have that merged in my other ones. And now I can close this. So that's a simple way, again, a little more work, but I wrote this script um, right here. So I'm going to launch it. And it's going to say, what files do you want to merge together? So here I can come in here and select the files I want and say open and then say okay what's the what do you want to call it um, Joe's AHK version and now notice it also says add the extension because I don't necessarily know I could go and check but that was just too complicated so I'm gonna say CSV and say okay and now it actually did it all merge it together but notice obsolescence isn't everywhere, right? It's just there on the very first one. And now we have all of them, it's still lightning fast, but now we have them all minus all the other uh, without the headers. So let's take a quick look at the script a little bit. It's, it's pretty darn simple, right? The first start, single instance force, there's only one instance of it. This speeds up the script a little. Here's where we say, go to a certain, um, you can put in, if you have a default directory you use a lot, you could put it in here, but the M3 allows you to select multiple files, uh, and then it checks this function I wrote because I use it twice, I put it into a function. Hey, if you don't select something, then just cancel out and don't proceed forward. So that jumps down to this canceled function, says, hey, if the var passed to it is blank, then just say user press canceled and exit the app. Right, so that does it here. So if you don't give it a name, it's just going to exit. Um, and then we're going to loop over the files. And this is a, a loop um, with the parse. And we're going to um, parse it on the, the new line. The very first time you go into this loop, um, the, the, the command tells it to say, hey, put the path. Um, it's, I'm sorry, the value there, the A loop field, that's the first time through it, that's the value that's in it, is going to be the path to that folder without the backslash. So I just, the very first time, I say go shove this into folder path as a variable and add the backslash. I mean, then now I have it for later use. And then if it's not in the first time, um, if A index equals two, um, so if this is the very first time going through it, and so this is the list of all the files, right? So the second time through it, it's the first file. And so then I'm gonna say, hey, just read that whole data file with the UTF-8 encoding and read it into data, right? And if it's not 
two, um, and, and it obviously is not one, then it's going to loop through all of them. But we're going to say, hey, if a index equals one, and so this is the first time we're inside that file path, um, inside that one file you're looking at, if it's the first row, skip it, right? So after the first one, this one reads it all in, including the header, and then everything after that just says skip the header, but dump it all into this data. Um, and then we say, hey, give it, let's give the, you know, what do you want to call it? So let's ask a question, what do you want to call a file name? Um, we give the new file and um, again, we check if you didn't give it a name, we just cancel the whole thing. It's just easier than having it error out. And then we write the data to in UTF-8 encoding to that folder path I leverage and then the new file. And then we run it with whatever the default editor will be for that. Um, this, of course, you could drop out because you don't have to have it, but it merged them together. Uh, and that's it. So it's a, it's a pretty short script, uh, 38 lines with some room that I could have trimmed out some stuff, but um, I find it pretty helpful and uh, handy. Cheers.